Hi class, so we are down to our last topic under your laboratory diagnosis, which is your culture media. On the previous video lecture, we were able to cover your uh, selection of your appropriate clinical samples, and then we are also able to discuss your microscopic diagnosis. So in this video lecture class, our primary objective is for you to familiarize the most common culture media used in mycology. So disclaimer lang class, in this video lecture, uh, I will only introduce to you the uh, culture media, but the uh, culture characteristic of each uh, fungal agent, we will discuss that one pagdating na natin sa mycosis. So for example, pagdating natin sa super superficial mycosis, uh, one of the agent doon class is Himalizisha 44. So Himalizisha 44, ano yung culture media ano yung culture characteristic niya class, microscopic characteristic, etc. So in this video lecture class, we will only discuss uh, and introduce the most common culture media used. So there are two types of your culture media class. In this video lecture, we'll try to differentiate that one. And one is your primary recovery media, and second is your differential test media. So in culture media, it's the same principle with your bacteriology class. We need to understand and familiarize also on how can we characterize the colony characteristic of your fungal agent. So how to read class? Okay. In reading your culture media, specifically your fungal uh, agents class, so we have your surface te textures. Okay, For your surface texture, it's almost the same with your bacteriology class. So either we can characterize the uh, colony as cottony or woolly, granular, uh, chalky, velvety, powdery, silky, uh, glabrous, either smooth, or creamy and then waxy glass. Yeah. And for pigmentation naman class, we observe uh, the pigmentation in the surface and reverse plate class. Take note with this one, paki highlight class. You have your observation on the surface and observation on the reverse plate. So, yan ang ibig sabihin ng reverse plate kasi alam, alam ko po yung surface. Kasi yung surface class, di ba, nagre-read tayo ng colony sa surface ng culture media. Tama? Kasi nag-read na tayo nun during bacteriology. Pero pagdating sa mycology class, we also observe the reverse plate. So, for example class, this one is your surface. So, cottony sa class, or how will you describe this one? But, you need to flip the culture media, tapos yung sa pet na part na class, ito yung itsura niya. So, yung sa pet na part na class, yun yung reverse plate. Tapos, you will observe the pigmentation. For example, brown coloration ba, or any coloration na nakita mo as your pigmentation. So what's the importance of knowing the reverse plate characteristic class or pigmentation sa reverse plate mo class? Kasi for example, if you can observe in this slide class, we have a uh, microsporum, okay, microsporum genus, and we have a different species class. And each species class, if you can observe, have a different reverse plate characteristic class. For example, for your canis, you have your reverse plate characterization of your lemon, yellow or yellow-orange apron. Compare with your gypsum na lightan class. Okay, so yun yung importance class. Why we need to read your reverse plate? Okay, take note with that one. If you have your altus notes class, okay, the, all the uh, uh, clinically significant fungal agents are listed there already class with its culture characteristic and microscopy. If you have your Bailey Sense Cut in Mayon class, nakasulat lang naman din doon. Okay? So, uh, uh, with the books naman class, then you have your culture characteristic and microscopy. So, take note with this one class, in this video lecture, we will only introduce the culture media used in mycology. So, pagdating sa example, uh, microspore room, canis, or gypsum, or odonii, anong culture media na dapat gamitin natin, we will discuss that one pagdating natin sa mycosis. 
So for culture media, in your mycology class, it is actually almost the same with your bacteriology. So generally, your culture media in your mycology class must contain nitrogen and carbon sources and vitamins. So that includes your sugars, like your glucose, fructose, and manose, including your sucrose. And then you have your peptone, uh, yeast extract, malt extract, amino acids. And then you have your salts. And then you have your thiamine B1 and biotin for your vitamins. So if you can observe and can compare that the culture media used in your uh, mycology is somewhat the same with your uh, bacteriology. So these are the basic class general content of your culture media. So as I mentioned earlier class that your culture media is uh, divided into two, which is your primary isolation media and differential media. So now we will start discussing your primary isolation media. We'll start with your brain, heart, infusion, aga, or BHI. Familiar? Tama, class familiar, di ba? Kasi na-introduce na to during our bacteriology. Sa bacteriology naman class, your brain, heart, infusion, agar is used to isolate your fastidious organism. Sir, sir, ano pala ibig sabihin ng fastidious? Class, para maintindihan, ang limang term ng fastidious is maaarte. Yun yung mga maaarte na organism. So, if you have an uh, fastidious organism, then you can use your brain heart infusion agar for a primary isolation. Pero class, pagdating sa mycology, your brain heart infusion agar or PHI is used to isolate your saprophytic and pathogenic fungi from sterile sites. Take note class, pakihighlight, sterile sites naman sa class. We also uh, supplement our BHI class with antibiotics. Okay, with antibiotics class because some of the uh, samples that we have may, may have a contamination with your uh, normal flora. So, pathogenic fungi, okay, specimens contaminated with bacteria or saprobes fungi, then we can add your antibiotics for your bacteria. So, sir, how about your saprobes fungi? Then we can add your cyclohexamide 0.5 ml class. Nabanggit naman natin to di pa class during our first video lecture. Okay? So, with the use of your cyclohexamide class, uh, Added to your culture media, it will prevent overgrowth of your molds class, especially class with your contaminant, okay, class with your saprobes. Next class, you have your dermatophyte test medium or DTM. In this culture media class, it is usually used to isolate your dermatophytes from keratinized specimen. Class paki highlight keratinized specimen. In our previous video lecture class, we discussed this one already. If we have your keratinized specimen, tapos gusto natin evaluate yung microscopic uh, characteristic, then we can use your 10% uh, QH class. Bakit your 10% QH class will dissolve your keratin? Tama class. Pero pagdating naman sa samples or keratinized specimen, uh, subjected for culture class, then we can use your dermatophyte test medium. So, kung wala tayong dermatophyte test medium class, then we can use your SDA CC. Sir, ano ibig sabihin ng CC class? CC stand for your cyclohexamide. Yun yung na-discuss natin in the previous slide. Okay, with the supplement of your cyclohexamide class, it will uh, suppress other uh, saprophytic fungi including your normal flora class. Your cyclohexamide class has the antibacterial property and antifungal property. Next class, you have your mycocell. Mycocell class, kung wala sa exam, pakihighlight naman yung other name niya class, mycobiotech. Okay? Uh, for your mycobiotech naman class, it is similar to your uh, DTM or dermatophyte test medium. So, ano yung ibig sabihin ng similar? Tama class, similar sila in terms of the purpose which is to isolate your dermatophyte. But in terms of their content, magkaiba sila class. Pero in the purpose class of uh, differentiating the two, so magkaiba lang sila sa content, same sila ng purpose which is tama class, identify, uh, isolate your 
their mat fights. Next class, you have your subroad dextrosagar or SDA. Familiar? Tama class. Narinig na natin yung pangalang subroad. During our previous lecture, we discussed that subroad is the father of your mycology. Pagdating naman sa culture media class, your SDA is actually equivalent to nutrient agar pagdating sa bacteriology. So, anong ibig sabihin niyan, sir? That your SDA can actually uh, allow growth with all fungi class, either saprobic and pathogenic fungi. Parang nutrient agar, di ba, sa bacteriology? Tama, class. Tapos, class, if you want to isolate only pathogenic fungi, then you can add cyclohexamide class. Because cyclohexamide, yung nabangit ko in the previous slide, has a antibacterial and antifungal property. Kaya majority of the saprobic fungi will be inhibited together with your normal flora. We also have SDA supplemented with oil class, supplemented with oil. Tapos pag dito class, yung oil na usually lang ginagamit natin is olive oil. Okay class, paki-take note, olive oil. Yung olive oil class, ino-overlay natin yan sa SDR subrodexus agar for the isolation of your malazisha furfur. Yan. Malazisha furfur. We will discuss your malazisha furfur class pagdating natin sa superficial mycosis. Next class, you have your potato dextrose agar or your PDA. Your potato dextrose agar class is the alternative for your SDA. It's still the same with your nutrient agar. So, purpose-wise, halos magkapareho sila. Kaya it grows a wide range of fungi. Kung wala kang PDA, pwede kang gumamit ng SDA. And then we are done with your uh, primary culture media class. So now we will move to your differential media. Okay, we will move to your differential media. First class, yung pinakasikat, okay, you have your bird seed niger agar class. Bird seed niger agar. Paki take note, this culture media class uh, isolates your uh, Cryptococcus newformans producing phenol oxidase, okay, resulting to the production of your melanin or brown black colonies. So, if you can observe this one, okay, bakit siya tinawag the differential? Those colonies na hindi nagproduce ng brown black colonies, hindi siya Cryptococcus newformans. Di ba, class? The same lang siya ng principle na bacteriology. Kasi sa bacteriology, we also have your differential media. Like, for example, Maconchi agar. Your Maconchi agar will differentiate your lactose fermenters from your non-lactose fermenters. So, bird seed niger agar naman class will differentiate your Cryptococcus neformans from other pathogenic fungi. Next class, you have your Cormil agar with twin AT class. Okay, for this culture media class, it is usually used for the uh, isolation of your chlamydospore production of your candida species. Yeah. Next class, you have your Zapec agar and malt agar. Keep a highlight naman to class kasi ilang beses na lumabas si Zapec agar class. Para saan daw si Zapec agar class? Si Zapec agar naman class usually is ginagamit siya for the isolation of your Aspergillus species. Then take note then class, uh, nabanggit din sa ibang reference class na sa kaya sa back agar, pwede din tayong gumamit ng malt agar. Kaya pagdating sa exam, kung wala siya sa back agar, pwede nating piliin si malt agar. But take note class, si malt agar meron din siyang ibang purpose. So ito yung sa class. For your malt agar or MA, ang usual na ginagamit talaga for this culture media is for the isolation of your ascomycota. Paki-take note class, paki-highlight class, you have your ascomycota. Kung gusto mong i-isolate si ascomycota class, then you need to use your malt agar or MA. So we are done with your 
culture media class. So, yun yung mga uh, general culture media that we usually use sa mycology. Now, I will introduce to you the uh, most common techniques uh, na ginagamit sa mycology class. So, one, we have your slide culture. So, for slide culture class, okay, you need to have your culture media. Okay, you usually ginagamit na culture media class is you have your SDA. So, magdodraw ako class. So, you have your culture media. Ito yung culture media mo class. For example, this is your SDA. Okay, so magpre-prepare ka ng SDA. Tapos class, habang nagpre-prepare ka ng SDA, magpre-prepare ka din ng uh, sterile plate. Ito yung sterile plate class. Ayan. Tapos, maglalagay ka ng rod. Ayan. Usual class sa laboratory, ang ginagamit nila is glass rod. Tapos yung glass rod, sa top niyan class, naglalagay sila ng slide. Ayan. So, yun yung preparation natin class. And then, naglalagay tayo na distilled water sa loob. Konti lang class, siguro 1 ml to 2 ml. Ayan. Okay, the water will uh, provide moisture later pag incubate natin siya. So, balik tayo dito class. Pag may culture media ka, so nag-draw na ako ng culture media, ito na siya class. Tapos, using your scalpel, okay, using your scalpel, ikakat mo sa class. Ganito. Ikakat mo siya. Tapos, after mo siya nakat na ganito class, kakat mo na siyang ganito na naman. Tapos, pag nakakat ka na nito class, pag kukunin mo siya, yung itsura niya black type, ayan, naka black type sa class. Ayan. Tapos, yung black type na nakuha mo na culture media class na SDA, yun yung ilalagay mo sa uh, taas ng slide. Tapos, sa taas ng slide, using your... Uh, War needle class, kukuha ka ng uh, aerial mycelia dito sa culture mo. Tapos, ipapahid mo sa taas ng, uh, tawag nito, uh, ng culture media. After mo na pahid dyan class, maglalagay ka na ngayon ng tama class, uh, cover sleep. Tapos, uh, after nyan class, uh, i- to close mo sa with the upper lid ng uh, ng plate mo and then i-incubate mo siya at 37 degrees Celsius. So op, uh, ter, sorry class, uh, kung may cilia naman ang gusto mong i-observe 24. Pag funzai yung uh, uh, yeast yung gusto mong i-observe 37. Pero for slide culture class, usually ang observation is may cilia. So therefore 24. So optimal examination uh, optimal examination method for the preservation of fungal morphology. So ang advantage class using this method is no need to remove a portion of the fungus from culture plate and transfer it to the slide. Kasi pag nagta-transfer ka class, pag nagta-transfer ka class, actually nagda-damage mo yung cellular uh, component na fungi. So, this reduces the chance of damage to fragile reproductive structures and that includes your spore-bearing structures of fungi. So, madali lang to klase perform. Kaya kung pag, pag medtech na kayo or physician, so if you want to perform slide culture, at least alam nyo class. Lastly, class, we have your adhesive tape preparation. In this uh, method, class, it is similar to your parasitology, which is your cellophane scotch tape method. So, ano yung ginagawa natin, class? Una, nagpre-prepare tayo ng uh, scotch tape, ayan, or adhesive tape. Tapos, we have your applicator stick. Tapos, uh, lulukutin natin yung uh, adhesive tape, look, uh, Parang ganito sa class. Ayan. So, nakaperform naman ata kayo ng ano, diba? Scotch tape method. Kaya, parang ganito lang din sa Kaso, ito, hindi natin siya ipapasok sa puwet ng bata. Ipapasok natin siya sa puwet ng tube class. Ayan. So, ipapasok mo yan sa dyan. Tapos, pagpasok mo dyan, kukunin niya yung uh, mycelial part ng fungi. Tapos, ilalagay mo sa slide. Before ka maglagay ng slide class, Uh, uh, before mo siya ilagay sa slide class, 
Dapat yung slide mo merong LPCB. Lactophenol cotton blue, tama? Nabanggit na natin yan kanina uh, with the previous uh, video lecture. Tapos with the use of LPCB class, tapos ilalagay natin yung scotch tip dito. Then we can perform your microscopic uh, characterization. Ayan. So, we are finally done with your laboratory diagnosis class. Uh, I hope na hindi siya masyadong mabigat. Kaya, uh, yung ginawa ko, three uh, separated video lectures para you can have rest. So, maximum of at least uh, 15 minutes. Pero with this uh, culture media, kasi masyadong mahaba, umabot ng 20 minutes class. Okay, so uh, please prepare for your quiz next meeting. We will uh, divide your quiz naman into two, then uh, check your uh, canvas uh, for that one class. And thank you for listening and I hope that uh, you learned something. And then if you have some questions, again, please don't hesitate to uh, uh, approach me. And then para maklarify natin yung mga gray areas na meron kayo pagdating sa laboratory diagnosis, na usually ginagamit sa mycology. Okay, thank you. Thank you class. And see you with my next video lecture.